Coming up on Growing Indoors in the Eco Garden House, we're harvesting more produce, checking on the propagation of our sweet potatoes, basil, and peppers, as well as checking underneath the board to see if our carrots have germinated. All that right now. Sponsored by Eco Garden House. At last, an indoor greenhouse equipped with complete easy lighting and watering systems. You can grow perfect organic produce and plants at your home all year round. Grow 24-7, 365. You now have no excuses. Welcome to Growing Indoors with the Eco Garden House. I'm Joy Baird. Well, the first thing we're going to do, as we do many times in the Eco Garden House, is we're going to do some harvesting. We're going to harvest our tomatoes. We've got a couple different uh, varieties here ready. We've got some yellow plum back in the back. I've got a couple of aromas there. And then these are the black creme. Now I'm going to go ahead and harvest this one here simply because it's partially ripe and the other portion is not ripe. But this will ripen in here in a couple days. I just want to get off the vine so the plant can continue to put go back into a production mode instead of a, a staminate, uh, I'm okay type of mode. And that's what you're wanting to do here. You've got a cluster of yellow plums here. That one's a little past, that's still good. Uh, the Roma's right here. Small Roma, ready to go. And I'll get the rest of these harvested. Uh, tomato going up the back side there. We've got, this is the, I believe this is the plum tomato. It's going out this way. Then that's one of these things with, if you're growing in the Eco Garden House, tomatoes, whether in containers or in a raised bed like we have here, You've got two different choices. You've got indeterminate and indeterminate. Indeterminate will grow as these are here. Indefinite, they'll just keep growing and growing and growing until you kill them. Determinate will grow to a certain height, certain size, put all its fruit on, and then it's done producing. So, and you don't have to really corral it that much. If you're doing a lot of tomatoes in here, you might want to go with a patio variety tomato or a compact tomato. It's going to give you smaller fruit, but you'll be able to get a whole lot more tomatoes in there, and you won't have to corral them as much. Uh, and trim them back. So I'm going to finish harvesting the tomatoes, harvesting the tomatoes. Okay, so I got a little harvest here. Pretty good. Always can be better. Always striving to do better. And one way to increase the, there's a couple ways to increase the number of flowers, which equals the number of tomatoes, is to one, keep the water at a minimal, keep the soil moist, make sure the plant's hydrated, but you know, you can cut it off, stress the plant out. We've talked about that on a previous episode. To, uh, put the plant in a, a reproduction mode and that will help put more flowers on. Another way is to actually trim back. I'm going to go to a joint here. Well, you can see here this plant, uh, I can just trim it way back there. Just get rid of that. Not going to hurt anything because there's no structure here. You can actually see that just part of the plant's natural life, part of this is pulling apart. So we can just get rid of that. You can go in here and trim back anything like that. Now something like this, even though you can see right here, you're starting to get more leaf, more structure there. You got some tomatoes there, so that's fine. So that's another way in order to increase your tomato production is to trim back and also cut back on the water to help stress the plant out. So next we're going to talk about the carrots we planted underneath the board here. But first, another crop in which you can grow in the Eco Garden House is Jerusalem artichokes. Now, Jerusalem artichokes is a day neutral plant, which means whether you have 12 hours of light in the Eco Garden House or 6 hours or 14 hours or 18, it's going to grow. So it's one of those plants such as uh, the tomatoes that will grow regardless of the amount of light. It's still going to flower. Now, Jerusalem artichokes you can find in a lot of organic grocery stores, and it is a tuber that develops that has, it's a less starchy uh, tuber that is better to be consumed, it's better for diabetics to eat, but to, uh, seek information from your physician before you to take my word on it. But it's another plant in which you can grow in the Eco Garden House, and you can just root it from a tuber, just very, very, very similar to a potato. You allow it to put some eyes on, and then you can put it in here. Now it's gonna take about 200 days to get to the point where 
uh, it's harvestable, so we'll have to advance this into a larger container, preferably a four or five, or five or six or eight gallon grow bag is the preferred size for a Jerusalem artichoke. Now let's talk about the carrots in which we planted uh, the last time. We planted them under the board, we sprinkled, we, we made a row, we planted them under the board and we hydrated the soil very thoroughly and to get the seeds to germinate at a higher success rate. Because the seeds are so small, you're putting very small amounts of soil on top of the seeds so you're not burying the seeds and the seeds can germinate. With this board, you're, it allows the moisture to hold into the soil and around the seed to germinate. So we're gonna flip this up and there are the carrots. Now, by leaving this board on longer, uh, these plants are not gonna be affected in a negative manner because the, 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 the plant starts here, the carrots still believed it was under soil trying to push through the board. So by doing it this way, it didn't hurt and we'll have to come in here, we'll allow these to grow a little bit, but we'll have to come in here and thin them out. And the mirror has nothing to do with the, the growth. Uh, we're just using that so you can see a little bit more of what you would if you were in front of me. But you can see the carrots there. But we'll let them grow, we'll water them in again, or water them again, gently. And then we, once they establish, we can thin them out. Now carrots will take, based on your variety, an average of 65 to 70 days. And again, you can harvest the carrots at any given time you wish the longer you leave them in and the deeper your container is based on the type of carrot, the bigger and bulkier the carrot root will actually be. You don't want to add a lot of nitrogen because that's when you have carrot deformity and you want the soil that you're using to be rock free, which if you're using good organic potting soil or compost uh, mix, it, it will be rock free. So that's another way you can in increase and uh, get more produce out is by planting carrots in your eco garden house. Okay, now we're going to talk about the propagation and how things have progressed or not progressed. We took sweet potato vine, we took a basil cutting, and we took the cuttings from our tequila sunrise pepper plant. We had two of three successful stories here. We'll start with the basil. You can see that the uh, roots have grown very nicely. Now what we'll do is we can root this in a container or a pot or in the raised bed. Now with any type of cutting, and we'll explain a little bit, we'll see the difference here with the peppers, you want to try to get the newest growth. The, the, that is the most tender growth, and that would be, you know, up here, that would be a good, good specimen because that has just recently grown. You don't want this hard wood here or this hard stalk to try to propagate from, and that's what we found with the pepper plants here. And I've found that several people have had, uh, I've watched several videos where there have been difficulty in uh, successively propagating the uh, peppers and because one of the reasons was was this was a very thick old stalk there wasn't really any new growth so we were going to take the opportunity to try to propagate and neither one of these took they oh they're brittle brittle and they just didn't take so that was a failure the couple of sweet potato vines didn't take but that's not a problem because we did have one successful propagation of the sweet potato vine. I can pull that little piece off. But you can see the roots here. And it actually, when we planted this, if you remember, there was, it was just a green stalk. It looked just like, you know, it was no leaf structure whatsoever. So this is actually putting on leaves. And now we can reroot this and get more, uh, more plants established that way. And we can t continue to take cuttings off of our sweet potato vine and, as it is growing up here. This is a dead tip here. We can just cut it back, put that in the water, and then all of those growth tips uh, will begin to develop uh, the leaves. And so two out of the three worked very well. Now with the pepper plant, if we had a very young developed structure of a uh, leaf structure or a limb structure, then that might work better. But it can be done. It's, this can also be done on uh, tomatoes as well as eggplants and some other uh, vegetables as well. But again, the more tender the leaf, the newer growth of the, the, the plant is the best to propagate with. So we can take these. Now, another way in which you can propagate besides, you know, to expand your growing capabilities in the eco garden house is root these like we did in water and put them in a dark closet for about a week. 
that will increase and help even a better success rate of growing, of, of propagating and getting more root development. But you can see it worked very well right here in full, uh, full light in just regular tap water. Uh, it really doesn't matter if you have chlorine in it or not because the water is going to, the chlorine will evaporate and really it doesn't destroy, it doesn't damage the plant as much as the myth has uh, pro 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 perceived it to be. So propagation, another way to expand the growing and the number of plants you have in your eco garden house. Thanks for watching. Join me again next time as we grow more and harvest more out of our eco garden house. For more information, please visit the